get out. Oh, what? I can fall off the side of the cliff, man. F you. All right, we're not. We don't need to do this. All right, man. F you. That soul caliber ass looking bullshit. For Complex News, I'm Hanuman Welch. Not to be outdone by the runaway success of Nintendo's NES and SNES classics, Sony is storming into the holiday season with the release of the PlayStation Classic, a preloaded retro console that comes stacked with 20 original PS1 games. Similar to Nintendo's mini consoles, Sony is even importing some of the outdated elements of 32-bit gaming, including a lack of wireless controllers. But aside from that, this is some of the best nostalgia bait we've ever put our hands on. Much like Nintendo's NES and SNES classics, the PlayStation Classic's plastic chassis is incredibly detailed, recreating every button, logo, and line from the original console. Notice the lack of analog sticks. Unlike Nintendo's retro consoles, the PS1 era marked the turning point from 2D to 3D, and some of these titles haven't held up as well as they think they might have. Cool Borders 2, which was included for some reason, is a sluggish chore to get through with controls that never quite clicked. I found Siphon Filter to be a blocky, outdated relic that turned my fond memories of the game into a glorified outhouse. I also found myself wondering how Sony landed on its decisions for inclusion. Some of the franchises on the PlayStation Classic would be better served by different entries in their series. Twisted Metal is a must, but Twisted Metal 2 was a better game overall and dropped on the PS1 just the same. Outside of griping about what is essentially a matter of taste and preference, the PlayStation Classic is a decidedly lean and bare bones experience. But still, 100 bucks for 20 full length games is a deal. All that said, the PS Classic is a faithful and well-made little device, and it's easy to see how popular it'll be among former PS1 owners. That being said, here are five games that are worth your time and have held up surprisingly well. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey originally made its mark in 1997, but with its total lack of a HUD and a minimalist menu. Revisiting Oddworld and the Mudokan slaves of Rough Your Farms has no right being as much fun as it is in 2018. The original was beloved for its strange hero, a green alien slave with stitched up lips and the ability to fart on command. The quirky gameplay, platforming, and environmental puzzles all remain intact and are charmingly lo-fi. It also helps that the not-too-subtle metaphor for corporate greed that propels the game's narrative is painfully prescient in the year 2018. A cult classic that's been remastered, rebooted, remade, and held as the gold standard for entries into the franchise, Final Fantasy VII holds up surprisingly well on the PS Classic. Final Fantasy VII debuted to massive worldwide sales and critical fanfare in 1997, three years after the original PlayStation console's launch. The first two Tekken games were huge hits and were both great reasons to cop a PlayStation. Tekken 3 brought us more of that great action with some of the old characters alongside some new ones. Tekken 3 is considered one of the best fighting games for the PlayStation and it's an excellent port of the arcade classic via the PS1. Tekken 3 is a welcome addition to a roster lacking a dearth of actual fighting games. Wild Arms is a classic PlayStation role-playing game that combines elements of the Old West and medieval Europe to weave a tale that explores both old and new technology after the banishment of the evil mother, the leader of the Metal Demons. Though thousands of years pass between this struggle and the events of Wild Arms, and sure, there might have been better JRPG choices to include in the PS Classic, but we'll take Wild Arms just the same. And finally, a must-add for any PS1 collection is Metal Gear Solid, but we do have some bad news. The original title, released in 1998, raised the bar for what an action stealth title could offer. The game on the classic is a frustrating, obtuse experience. Slow, sluggish, and distractingly low res, the game's characters and narrative do contain enough of the original magic to keep it from being a total loss. Are you copying the PS Classic? Let us know what you think and what games you wish made the cut. For everything else, subscribe to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Adam Welch.